Launched in 2009, Omega was a popular social media website where you were able to video chat with a stranger online, but recently, due to a lawsuit stemming from many years of misuse and lack of moderation, it has shut down. The creator of the website, Leaf K. Brooks, released a statement which is currently displayed on the website, but has refused to make any further comment. We spoke to people about their opinions on the recent shutdown and experiences with the website. I was introduced to Omega by friends at a sleepover in 2020, and then ever since then I've been using it pretty frequently. I would go on the website and uh, just try to find people to talk to or just try to find like weirdos because there is a lot of those on the website. A lot of people would either there to talk or to be creepy and like find people to do stuff with. I believe that half of the people on the website use it for malicious purposes. I don't think it should have been shut down. I just have a feeling it should have been better moderated. I found Omegle when I was like in like probably 2012 or something. I mean, it's been around since like 2009. I found it about a while ago. I want to make content on it because it's so, it's so easy to make content on. People have no idea what the hell was going on on that website. Omegle was like, it's just a cesspool. It's a disgusting place. Like people would make content on there, but it always was really interesting to me because there was this huge part of YouTube that was dedicated to people making Omegle content, but no one really knew that the website itself was pretty horrible. I mean, you have people like doing like disgusting disgusting vile things on there so it just seems like a toxic place to be honest i mean i i guess maybe uh all websites like that are kind of toxic but nowadays more than ever it feels like it's mainly people just go on there to, like pick arguments like i don't know if you've ever been on there specifically but like people just go on there to start making fun of people and that's it or like they'll call people like a slur or whatever and i mean like i just don't really see the point most people are just i guess sad with their lives so they would go on there to make fun of people they had said that they put like protections in place and that there was like AI moderating the site, which I can believe. And they said they had human moderators, but if they really wanted to keep people safe, like they would have redone the website, like actually recoded the website to make it so you could at least not see people's IPs. Anyone could go on the website and just take, like pull anyone's IP and then just find out exactly where they live or at least roughly where they live. So like they didn't really care that much. And that's been a problem for the entirety of the website for like 14 years. So the weirdest thing I've seen in Omegle, I'll give you a serious one. I'll give you a serious one. I saw like an extreme explicit scenario involving someone that was uh, underage. Someone was playing a video of that on the website. And I don't know, like, this is what I was saying with like, I don't know how Omegle can ever be like, oh yeah, we were moderating it. Because how does that stuff show up? I know that's dark, but that was actually one of the most disturbing things I've probably ever seen in my entire life. And it was on Omegle, so. Thanks for watching Culture Shock and be sure to check out Luke AFK on his YouTube channel.